Okay guys, I'm just going to give you an update on my bees. These are my, uh, little, well, this is my hive that I have in the backyard. Uh, as you can see, I used to have four here, but due to uh, some attrition, I'm down to one. But uh, it's a pretty decent hive. Just kind of giving you a general idea of how I have everything set up. <clears throat> this is my hive stand. And uh, you can see on my other videos how I made that. It's pretty simple. And I've got the legs sitting in uh, paint pails where there's just simply water in there and what that does is prevent crawling insects from crawling up into the uh, into the hive into the stand I've got two of these stands here and uh, you, so you can see how I've got a uh, I can place two hives on one stand with no problem it's good and sturdy been here several years and had no problems what I'm doing today is I'm just uh, I'm just going to check a hive, check this hive that I put uh, a new super on last week. It's been about five days since I put this super on right here. What I have here is a uh, hive base stand. That's this right here. That's where the bees come and go. I've got a little reducer, entrance reducer here because it's been winter. And uh, I want my hive to be good and strong before I remove that, uh, that reducer. I have above that, which is right here, I have a little uh, spacer, which basically will give the queen a little extra room. Uh, it's supposed to help keep them from swarming. All right, this first big box is the brood hive, and that's where the queen is. <clears throat> she lays her eggs in there. Above that, I don't know if you can see, but there's a little piece of metal. See that metal? This is a queen. Uh, it's a, a queen excluder and uh, let's see I have one over here I'll show you this is a this is a queen excluder right here and basically all it is is mesh wire but it's uh, got to be perfectly spaced 3 eighths of an inch <coughs> you buy these from your uh, bee supplier this 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 winter I had uh, the brood hive and the queen excluder and the first super um, I used the the middle size supers and I left that on throughout the winter but when I came out and checked it this this spring I noticed this hive had a lot of good bees in it so Last week I added another super, which is this one right here. And all I'm doing today is I'm just checking it. I just want to see what's going on up there. See if they're uh, going up there and making uh, wax and building foundation. This is your top um, top board. And basically what it does is it has a whole hole in the top there to allow for ventilation for the bees. You can see that. And it allows uh, you better to take off your top cover, which is this right here. And it sits on there like that. It allows you to take it off easily uh, without the bees gluing it down. So the way I enter my hive is I have a hive tool. And man, you can't hardly get by without this thing. Also, I have my suit. And I just have a top suit, uh, uh, a top jacket on. I don't know if this is video and I'm just kind of using my hand, but uh, blue jeans, uh, tennis shoes, and I have this uh, jacket here with hood, gloves, and hive tool, entrance tool. And basically what you do is you use your hive tool like this to pop open the, the top of the uh, hive like that. The top cover comes off and then you set it to the side I like to look at the top cover because it kind of gives you an idea you can see right here these are hive beetles see them right there squish 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 a good strong hive everyone we have hive beetles down here in the south and uh, those things are pretty bad you can uh, if you don't have a strong hive they can actually take over a hive and ruin it so 
what I've done to combat these high beetles is I built this little this little device right here which is a, a basically a box the same dimensions as, as one of your supers mm -hmm. and inside I have a little doorway all right and then inside of there I have oil a little pan with oil and you can see there is some bees that have gotten in there but there's also a lot of high beetles in there as well this helps keep your hive clean what happens is the bees will throw the hive beetle down in there and uh, they'll become trapped and die that's all that is now what I'm gonna do here is just kinda look one thing I've learned is using these uh, I've been using these plastic frames here. I really like the plastic frames. And uh, these things are super handy. They're nice, they're clean. The bees take to them also. You can see where they've already started uh, doing a little work on these. Although, I don't see what they've drawn these out yet. So, Maybe you can see down in there. See how good these bees are, boy. It's just good and thick. Plenty of plenty of uh, good brood in there at the bottom. So these ought to do well. Ooh, there's one of those high beetle suckers. See him right here? Try to get a close up of him. The bees hate them and they try to fight them, but they can't do anything with them. So there's a high beetle. If you've never seen one. Uh, I hate those things too. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a little more time. But by the by, this uh, summer, this top thing will be this top um, super will be plenty of full of honey, and uh, I'll extract that honey. It'll be nice and clean. Anyway, that's just a quick rundown of uh, what I'm doing this time of year. I have some other hives, just uh, not in my backyard. This is the only ones I have in my backyard. Um, I have a total of nine hives. I need to get, uh, I want to get three more hives for here. So this is the uh, middle of March, and this is when basically when they swarm around here. So I've got my ears, eyes and ears open for swarms and... I've got everything set up so that when a swarm does happen, I'll try to catch them. All right. Thank you for watching. Happy beekeeping.